The former boss of tour operator Thomas Cook has refused to answer questions at the inquests into the deaths of two children who died while on holiday. Robert and Christiane Shepard, from Horbury, Wakefield, died from carbon monoxide poisoning in Corfu in 2006. Manny Fontenlenovoa exercised his legal right not to answer questions that may incriminate him. The children were on holiday with their father and stepmother at Louis Corsera Beach Hotel, booked by Thomas Cook. Experts have previously told the inquest how a hot water boiler, which was in an external outhouse, had a number of faults and this was the source of the lethal carbon monoxide. Awful tragedy. At the latest hearing the coroner, David Hinchliffe, told Mr. Fontenlenovoa this is not a trial but there is the potential you might have to be involved in future criminal proceedings, and you don't have to answer questions which could incriminate you. Mr. Hinchliffe then started to take the witness through a statement he made to police in 2009. Mr. Fontenlenovoa was asked to confirm that he said, the deaths of Robert and Christiane Shepard are very significant events in the company's history as they are the only customers of Thomas Cook to have died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Since their deaths in October 2006, this awful tragedy has been a major priority occupying my attention and also the attention of all my senior management and the board. Mr. Fontenlenovo replied, I decline to answer that. Profit before safety. He also declined to answer that he had said, I believe every employee employed by Thomas Cook has been impacted by this tragedy and we have made every effort to consider the best interests of the family. The witness then faced questions from Leslie Thomas QC, the barrister representing the family. Invited to look my clients in the eyes and express his sympathy by Mr. Thomas, the witness said, I deeply regret the incident that occurred. The barrister continued, I'm going to suggest to you that what was more important to Thomas Cook was profit, so Thomas Cook put profit before safety. The hearing continues.